Truly understanding how keyframes work in Final Cut Pro can add a lot of utility to the program and knowing all the shortcuts can help you save a lot of time. So as an example, I've got this brown circle right here. And if you've ever used keyframes before, you can say, okay, you want it to start here by clicking here, adding a keyframe. So at this point in the timeline, it's gonna be at that position. Uh, I'm gonna move 15 frames ahead, the playhead, and then I'm just gonna drag it, right? So now if I go back to the beginning, you probably know this, press spacebar, and then it'll just move like that. Now, if you want to kind of micro, make micro adjustments to this, it's a good thing to right click and show the video animation because then you'll see your keyframes right here. And uh, let's say I'm gonna add one more thing. So I'm gonna go another 15 frames ahead and I'm gonna make kind of like a triangle pattern here. So right here, okay? So now what happens is the circle's moving and it's down. Now what I wanna do is make it go back to the beginning and have this on a loop. Now I could painstakingly add more keyframes each and every time, but a much more efficient way to do that is to get all these keyframes together and cut uh, and copy and paste them. So what I just did there, I just held, held shift and clicked each of my keyframes. What I'm gonna do now is go up to edit, keyframes, copy. An easier way to do that is also just hold shift, option, and C. And now I'm gonna go 15 frames ahead to kind of where I started it again. And then I could go edit, keyframes, paste, but I'm gonna use the shortcut, which is shift option V for paste, and it's gonna do that. So now say I wanna have this go on even longer. I can add these new ones here, go 15 seconds past, or 15 frames past here, and then do the same thing. After I've copied all these, shift option copy to copy all these highlighted keyframes, shift option paste to do that. Now, if I play it from here, It'll just be on one continuous cycle for as long as my timeline runs it for. Uh, one other thing I wanted to do here, so I'm gonna just delete all these and be back with my original circle here. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to talk about are these points. These points on your timeline show you the keyframes. Now, it'll default to have these points be smooth. Sometimes you don't always want that. Uh, what that actually does is it kind of makes it travel in like an elliptical fashion. So for example, I'm gonna make a keyframe right here and then maybe up here, drag it, and then go 15 frames forward, drag it down. So now, see here, all of these are operating at a little bit of a, a smooth curve. See, if I scrub through this, you kind of see how it smoothly makes that transition. If you don't want this, you can right click on the keyframe and change it to linear. So now, if you were to do that, it'll just bounce straight at a sharp angle. So uh, using some of these can give you a lot more functionality and uh, learning the keyboard shortcuts can save time doing painstaking animations.